It's a new week, it's a new day, and it's a new episode of On The Go. I'm right here to give you the trending and hottest gossip from around the world. My name is Gideon, and I'm your host. Let's talk about what took place on Twitter recently. The gist has been driving, I don't know if it's the whole nation, but it's state crazy. Allegedly, the popular adult film star King Nazir is currently in Ghana to satisfy actress Sugar Titi, Ghanaian actress actually, she's a Ghanaian actress. Sugar Titi, that's her name. And she publicly declared that no man, no man at all has allowed her to reach orgasm. I don't know how true that is. But guys, this is where it gets interesting. It's going to be live. They're going to stream it live while they're doing all the yada yada. And it's going to be on a paid platform. I mean, everybody has been talking about it that we can't wait to see it. People are saying King Nazir is not in Ghana. People are saying Chika Titi won't say such a thing that out of all the men in Ghana or wherever she has been, out of all the men she has been with, it's not possible a guy has actually not let her reach orgasm. Well, I don't know how true that is. We know how feisty King Nazir can get on social media. So we don't know how true this is, but I know a lot of people can't wait to watch this thing on that platform. To watch them do their yidi yada, you know, I don't want to call, I don't want to say words. But you know what I'm talking about, right? King Nazir and Sugar Titi. Well, a lot of people are waiting and I hope they don't disappoint. I hope the directors, I hope the producers don't disappoint. I hope King Nazir doesn't disappoint. And I hope Sugar Titi doesn't lie at the end of the day that she didn't actually wake King Nazir up with the way she's shooting video. Let's talk about Odumodu Black. Odumodu Black is known to be the president of the Afro cult. It's from Abuja. Odumodu Black is the one that signed the Picanto song where he featured Zlatan. Now he has released a banging one called Declan Rice. And I know a lot of people have been waiting for that song. But right now, it has been released. And the video is not out yet, but the song is banging. And right now, I can tell you, all I'm going to tell you is that the song is number one on Apple Music in the whole of Nigeria. It has stepped down, party, you know, they stop by, they play gold and other songs that we're topping the charts. Right now, The Clean Rise by Odomo Black is topping the charts. We have Tino Graffy on the score official says, disturbing everywhere. This song is actually disturbing everywhere. Odomo now has been training for like three days straight on Twitter and The Clean Rise has been going up, 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 up. And right now, it's on number one. So the song is actually disturbing everywhere. Another comment from I am Evan Spence says, Son of Grace. Son of Grace, actually, because Odomodu Black had to go through surgery on the 15th of March. It was a serious surgery that he almost lost his life. He told his story on Instagram, and you know a lot of people felt it. And he said he was at the verge of dying, but now he's alive to witness the growth of his song and, you know, the change his song has to, you know, has to make to the, to the society. Whiskey posted Odomodu Black's song on his story on Instagram. And when Whiskey posted his picture on Instagram, he used the line from the song. The line says, Ibilibi Stoner. I don't know what it means. I'm sure, you know, the Afro call guys will understand what it means. But the song is actually banging. And I would say Odomodu Black is a son of grace. Because he went through surgery, he almost died. Now he's alive to witness the growth of his song. We all know how strict UK can get when it comes to their countries and other countries. Obviously, there's a UK visa ban and there's a watch list they released, and there are 10 Nigerians on that list. There have been controversies that former Minister of Culture and Tourism, Tim Fanikaradi's name, happens to be on that list, but it's not been clear with that information. Obviously, there's a watch list the UK has concerning you know visa ban, and 10 Nigerians happen to be on it. But they're not going to come out with the name because they also have laws that stops them or that prevents them from doing things like that. But there have been controversies that Fanny Kaidi is actually not going to be traveling to the UK very soon because of this. And what led to this exactly from what I could gather was that, you know, during the presidential election that happened on the 25th of February 2023, so he said some things that sparked up conflict, you know, between different parties, the APC, PDP, LP, like that. And right now, the UK, the UK immigration are watching him and I don't think he's going to be traveling to the UK in time. So let me just read some comments for you guys. Under the same gist, we have a comment from Ocean's Full Bar. Ocean Full Bar says, makes sense why Renault Mokri apologized. So Renault Mokri took to Instagram recently and apologized to be saying, 
he actually deserved 97% of the win during the presidential election. I don't know why he did that, and I don't know if it's, you know, to remove himself from that, you know, that view that the UK immigration are using to look at Nigerian politicians, you know, concerning the visa ban and everything. But he apologized recently, and, you know, some people are saying, makes sense why he apologized. King after 903 says, let them add MC Olomo to that list. I don't know why, but a lot of people still want to get their hands on MC Olomo for everything he said and, you know, the things they said he allegedly did during the election, which are still not clear. But people are still not happy with MC Olomo and people still want to get their hands on him and, you know, I don't know, but like, let's learn to forgive and forget. Let's move on with life. Let's do the right thing. $430 million worth of supercars and 85 Lamborghinis exploded and sank on transport ship. That's a huge one. I hate to be Lamborghini's insurance right now. I hate to be the supercars, whatever car it is, Ferrari, Bugatti. I hate to be their insurance right now because, yo, what will they be facing right now? Probably go bankrupt or something. How did it happen? Some people said, you know, the ship was moving across well, or it was going on well, or something, or something sparked it off from the ship. But I really don't know. But then if you look at the pictures, you won't really see any Lamborghinis. You don't know where they eat them. We don't know if they're lying. But you can check the picture out. Let me just read some comments for you guys. The bright O underscore says, my condolences to the insurance company. My condolences to, to the insurance company. Because they're going to be going through a lot right now. I hope they investigate and, you know, Everybody wants to hear what actually happened, what actually took place, because they're not coming clean. Obviously, there was an explosion, because you could see the picture and everything, you see the video, but they still need to come clean. How would a sheep just explode and sink like that? Lady underscore quality says, Chai, all these marine spirit go to drive quality cars. I don't know if it's the marine spirit that sank the sheep, but anyways, marine spirits are about to have 85 Lamborghini and $438 million worth of supercars, but I don't know how true that is. I don't know why Nigerians like evolving spiritual things into reality. But whatever it is, we have to get to the bottom of this matter. Now this is why I joined Cousins for today. I hope you've been entertained by the juicy and trending gossip I've been able to give you this morning. Stay tuned to the platform like always. Follow us on all our social media platforms at Views Channel 108 on Instagram and on Twitter. My name is Gideon. Have a nice day.